Welcome to Scheme Heen TV. We got my dude Lamont Muggs McIntyre today. We gonna go over his case. You know, I know y'all probably been seeing him a little bit in the news on the headlines and everything about the, you know, wrongful injustice and all that. So we gonna get into that, but we gonna uh, rewind a little bit back and take it back before then and let y'all know a little bit more about his uh, early upbringing and, you know, what got him here, you know, before all that happened. So. You know, we're going to kind of shoot into that right now. You know what I mean? Let them know, you know, where you come from and all that. People don't know, you know, let them know what that is. All right, well, my name is Lamont McIntyre. Uh, uh, I've been in the news lately uh, for the last four and a half years. I got out 2017. Uh, I went to prison when I was 17, uh, wrongfully, for two murders I didn't commit. And, um, I we, we don't want to cut you off there, look, but let's get a little bit more about we we gonna go we gonna get into that, mm -hmm. but let's take them back where where you come from. A lot of people oh. ain't, ain't ain't from the city we from. They don't know okay. they don't know about all this. So we gotta let a lot of people know where you even come from before all this even happened. All right, yeah, all right. Well, I come from Wyandotte County, man, across the bridge, across the water from Missouri. Uh, nine one three eight one six. We all in the same boat, you know how we do. But uh, Wyandotte County, man, that's where everything would happen. That's where I was raised. Uh, that's where I was born at. I ain't been nowhere else. I ain't been outside the city, y'all. So homegrown. When you was County. coming up, like, did you come up in a? Did you have both parents in the household? Was it a mom and dad? Nah, I grew up in the city, man. All hood. Uh, all my uncles was pimps, man. All my cousins was players and drug drug boys, and so I grew up in the trade of that. I grew up under all the the dope boys and everybody just pushing work through the streets and. That's really how I grew up. So it was just your mother in the household. Just moms, nobody else. Any siblings. Uh, four, five siblings, man. So I'm the middle child. I got two older, two younger. Um, yeah, I got an older sister, older brother that passed away uh, a few years back. And then I got two little brothers under me. Then I got a baby sister that my mother adopted. That was my uncle's daughter. Then my mother adopted her. She's my sister, too. Okay, how'd you do? What, what, what was the schooling and all that like for you? Did, you? did you participate? You know, was you attracted to that? Or did you immediately just gravitate towards the street? Or how was that? Well, man, I was a good student, man. I was a comedian for real. I wasn't really into school, but I was into going to school to make people laugh and shit. So I was really into that shit. So uh, I was a good student. I just didn't like the structure. I didn't like being in class when I could be out doing something else. So uh, I kind of got in trouble early on. Like uh, my brother and my cousin robbed a piece of man, and I got a, I caught a case from that. It was an armed robbery case. And um, How old was you? I was... 13 at the time. So when that happened, that was kind of like, that kind of, you know, I don't want to go to school no more at that time. I just kind of started doing more street shit. So um, when did you drop out? That's when you dropped out. Yeah, about 12, 11. Middle I mean, school. About 11, 12, 13, around that time, I was gone. By middle school, I was done with school. I was still going because I had the probation stuff to deal with that wrong robbery my brothers and my committed, but I wasn't really in the school like that. All right, so. After you got to start getting into the street a little bit more and the school wasn't for you now, all that kind of like lead me down the road of, you know, what what what'd you gravitate towards towards the street? Just was you just, you know, what what kind of what was grabbing you? Man, my, what was the things you was kind of getting into? Well, I got into everything without trying. You know, my family was into the gang shit, so I got into the gang culture. I was mm -hmm. into the drug trade because my family was into the drug trade, so I kind of pretty much followed suit. But that's not what I wanted to do. That's something I was just, you know, that was something I was thrown into. I wanted to do the comedian thing. That's what I was good at. That's what came to me naturally. But, um, yeah, that's what I was mainly bent on, just being funny, man, and uh, trying to take care of my family. So I was doing the things I was doing in the streets to take care of my family. I wasn't really on to trying to take care of me with what I was doing. Did you have to do any time in the juvenile system? Or did you just caught that little little whopping you was on with it and got probation? Or did you go back and forth there? Nah, I caught, I caught my first case was an armed robbery case. My mm -hmm. brother and my cousin did. I got probation for that case. While I was on probation for that case, I caught a drug case. That was, I was responsible for it. So I got out on bond on a drug case. I was on probation how for did, it. How did that, what, what was the drug, how did that happen? Man, the drug case happened because um, the guys across the street, man, real shit, the dudes across the street, there was a drug house across the street, man. The dudes caught the police on us. 
They called the police on me, man, because <laughs> I was a guy that short stopped in the front of their little spot. Competition. Yeah, so they called the police on me, man, and uh, the police came and circled my car and um, took me to jail. And they found some work in my car. And, and how old was you at the time? At that time, I was 14, 15 years old. Uh, so around that time, probably 16. I don't know around that time. I wasn't 17 yet because I was out on bond on a drug case when the murders when they came looking for me for the murders. Mm -hmm. So I was around like 17 at that time. Okay. All right. 16. So, so like you said, from then, that's when you first did, you, you had to do a little bit of time on that? Yeah, I did some months and got out on bond. I was juvenile. So I, they called the police and did the police come to the house and find something or they just, how'd that go? They, so the police surrounded me, man. I was in a parked car in front of my auntie house at night. The police circled me, man. Two in the front, three in the back. And um, they said they got a call from people across the street saying somebody was trying to break into their house. And I was just sitting there, man, me and my cousin. That's how I know the guys that called the police. So they got me out the car, and I was smoking weed at the time, too. So they smelled weed in the car, gave me reason to search my car. And that's how that all happened. They found the drugs in my car. And then I went to jail. But I could bond it out. So I didn't go to jail for like so, two But days. they let you bond out as a juvenile, or they, 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 when you went, you was past the jurisdiction? Nah. Bonded out as a juvenile, so I was, this is all juvenile stuff. Yeah, Kansas let you bond out as a juvenile? I was the bond out as a juvenile, yeah. Oh, that's drug a cold case. game. Juvenile, yeah. So while I was out on bond on the drug case, the police came looking for me for two murders. <laughs>